Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to be installing uh, strut bars in the front and rear of a 1999 Acura Integra. Uh, the same applies for some early model Honda Civics as well. And uh, these strut bars are courtesy of Redline360. I've got a product link and a link to redline360.com in the description. Also, if you have not already, you may want to check out my video on strut bars uh, explaining how they work and what their purpose is. Okay, so for the install, we're going to be connecting the front right strut tower and the front left strut tower. So the first step is to remove these two bolts here and here. They're about 14 uh, millimeters and they should be torqued at about 36 uh, pound-feet. Okay, so removing uh, this flange nut that was right here uh, turned out to be a bit of a challenge and so basically what I ended up doing is I was stripping the nut. Um, so what I did is I sprayed it with some liquid wrench. Uh, I then bought some extractor sockets which basically dig into the sides of the nut. Uh, and then I used a breaker bar attached to this uh, extractor socket and I was able to get the flange nut off of there. So basically that ruins the flange nut so I had to go ahead and buy another uh, which I've got here in order to replace uh, the OEM nut there. So after we remove those nuts we can simply place the strut bar bracket on top of there and then all you need to do is tighten down the nuts, the flange nuts, to 36 pound-feet on both sides of the strut towers. Okay, so now that we've got both brackets in with the flange nuts torqued at 36 pound-feet, we can go ahead and place the strut bar where it needs to be and put the screw through. And then on the other side, you'll just have to adjust it um, so that you can make it where it, the bolt can go right through. All right, and once you have tightened down these nuts here, then you can go ahead and tighten down the final nuts that lock up the strut bar so it doesn't change its position at all. And... There you have it, you've got the front strut bar installed. Okay, so now for the rear of the car, pretty simple. We've got these uh, panels here which cover the strut uh, towers. And then inside, we're gonna have to remove these two nuts here and here. So once we have those nuts off, we can place the bracket over top and then re-tighten the nuts back on. So now we've got the nuts back on and they are torqued to 36 pound-feet. Okay, so now we have the brackets on both sides and we can go ahead and adjust this bar um, to meet up. So we're going to stick the uh, bolt in one end and then adjust it as needed. Okay, so we've got one side in and you can adjust the length by rotating this uh, in order for it to match up on this end and then you would tighten down this nut right here. And once you've got everything adjusted right, the last step is to simply tighten up this uh, last bolt here. And so there we are, the rear strut towers are now connected. So if you wanted, you could uh, take this plastic cover here and just cut out a hole so that this could come through and it could be a little bit cleaner, but you've got the basic idea of how to install this. Thanks for watching.